enjoy the cinematography. Not now, not, not, not now. But uh, I have something to sing about. Doesn't matter. He hasn't had a song yet. <coughs> Sorry. Is somebody doing a musical review? Shots. Film is told in a language with syntax and grammar. Some shots are adverbs, others are pronouns, still others conjunctions. You get the idea. Every shot has its place. Every shot has its place. If you're manning the lens, don't be so lazy and lame. Every shot will look terribly dull if a face fills the frame. Look how the camera wiggles and jolts and it all looks the same. And so it has been, and so it is written on the gravestone of Eisenstein. The films are shots so bloody boring. Don't stand the test of time. Shots. Lord, tell directors how to shoot movies. Make them on par with student films, at least. Tell them how to shoot, how to shoot movie stars. Well, I'm just so glad that I could finally do a solo for all of you. Should we talk about our interests or hobbies? Why? When well, we're so in love. Hey, there's a Buffy marathon going on downstairs. Girl power and vampires? God, blocker! So if Anine disguises herself as a boy, which is pointless seeing how there's clearly women in the barricades in this version, and sacrifices her life to save her not boyfriend. I'm him. That's all I need to know the train. We'll make the flowers blow. He, of course, shows his devotion and respect for one that loved him so much by immediately sending a love letter to his real sweetheart. Hey, three's a crowd! But a nice interception by Valjean, who grabs the letter and decides he should go down there to protect Marius, as he might be the only hope his daughter has to living a civil life, given the social and financial status of her father. But not before secretly freeing a captured Javert, as he knows the rebels would most likely kill him. And, strangely enough, Crow does manage to act in this scene. For a brief moment, it actually sounds like he gives a damn. Once a thief, forever a thief. What you want, you always steal. Yes, Valjean, you want a deal. Shoot me now for all ah, I Ah, there he is. So yeah. There's the autopilot so schmuck I remember. Yeah. He sucks so much. He has Oscars. Valjean then sings about how important it is to protect Marius, describing him like a son. A son he's only known for a few minutes. On, on high, in my this is especially disrespectful to the original, as the song was supposed to be sung quietly and soothing. Here he belts it out. Here I die. I'm surprised he doesn't wake up the entire army. Oh, and I suppose Colm Wilkinson did much better? He did! Much better! Oh, and his awkward lip movements didn't result for hilarious sounds like this? Bring me home. <laughs> well, okay, maybe not every note was perfect, but I don't... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did he swallow a fish? <laughs> It's still better than Jackman. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Jackman never sounded like a vomiting cat in reverse. <laughs> Stop it! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Barking Wilkinsons. Ow! <laughs> 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 
The next day, it looks like our revolutionaries have no chance. You have no chance! In one of the more touching scenes, the young boy Gavros sacrifices his life to fight for what he believes in. This leads to the final battle between the soldiers and the rebels. Oh, I do hope it's all done in close tight shots so that nobody can figure out what's going on. <laughs> Javert looks over the destruction and gives a very tender moment, handing over his medal to the dead boy for his bravery. Now, this really begs the question. The symbol for Les Mis, both the movie and the stage production, is the child Cosette. But shouldn't it be the boy Gavroche? I mean, what does Cosette do? She looks scared and gets married. Gavroche is constantly active, sacrifices his life, and has much more of a character. Why isn't he the symbol of the movie? Because he can't do this. Valjean manages to escape with an unconscious Marius and come across Javert waiting. But Javert is so confused by Valjean's honor and kind heart that not only does he let him go, but he questions his own morals. Who is this man? What sort of devil is he to have me caught in a trap and choose to let me go free? God, hearing crow debate ethics is like watching a rock argue with itself. Damned if I live in the dead of a thief. Damned if I yield at the end of the chase. I am the law. There is no way to go. Oh! <laughs> really? Really? That, that was the best sound effect I can come up with. Way to kill him off with dignity. Yeah, what other cartoon sounds do you think we could put in there to up the drama? <laughs> hey! I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> so Marius speaks with Valjean on the Titanic and tells him that he wants Marius to marry his daughter, but he can't be around for it because... Reasons that are explained much, much better in the book. His fog this must be faced. If he is caught, she is disgraced. So Valjean vanishes, and Marius does end up marrying Cosette, just as he finds out the location of her father, and thus goes to see him on his deathbed. Or... chair. Now you are here. Again beside me. And is it me, or does a guy who's about to die actually look better than he did at the beginning of the movie? Come with me, with chains oh. will never bind you. Oh, I am ready, Fontaine. So Valjean finally passes, the spirit of Fontaine is there to greet him, and all the souls who perished are joined again next to the sculpture that even Napoleon called a giant eyesore. Is it me or has the room gotten a lot less talented? Ah! Hey guys, I've been looking all over for you. Are we gonna start this review or what? We would, but... Well, it's just that we kind of, um... Finished it already. What? But, but I never got a chance to do my Russell Crowe voice. I warned you I would not give in. I will sing like this. It's really cool. Two, four, six, oh, one. I will sing like this. I am Russell Crowe. la ba -de -da -ba -de -doo. Russell Crowe is awful! What? He is. Everyone knows it, man. I'm sorry you had to find out this way, but a musician trying to learn from Russell Crowe is like a public speaker trying to learn from a mime. I'm sorry. Judge this group of critical nerds to denigrate Russell Crowe and make me feel like a turd. All it would take is just a minute or two, but now they won't let me sing. Russell Crowe, what would you do? Should I pick fights with random dudes? Should I go start a crappy band? Should I be really hard to work with? Or should I die by my own hand? Damned 
if I look like a flippity fool. Damned if I look like a floppity tool. This is not just a comedy bit. Either I sing like Russell Crowe or that shit. I'll escape now from this world. I will live my life today. Now I'll never have my song. I'll just have to find a Final thoughts on the movie? Well, I think it's great. It did a wonderful job to update the musical as well as adapt it in a way that moviegoers would enjoy. It has its problems here and there, but I think it's fantastic just to see it in movie form. Well, I thought it was terrible. It's clumsy, it's awkward, it's full of moment upon moment that doesn't work, and it commits the biggest crime any adaptation could. It made me question whether or not the material it's adapting was that damn great to begin with. You? Well, uh, as someone who enjoyed the musical but acknowledges that it had problems, I think the film is kind of similar. Some moments hit it right out of the park and others don't even make it up to bat. So on the whole, I'm glad I saw it, but I don't think it's great. Wait, so it's like, dislike, and indifferent? Well, hell, that's pretty much what the rest of the critics of the world thought. There was no real majority consensus. It's one of those movies that is so hard to get a fix on that pretty much everybody had a different reaction to it. Well, what the hell kind of a conclusion is that? We need some kind of opinion to force on viewers. Yeah. Listen. Do you hear the critics sing? Sing about how they don't agree. It is a metaphor for life when mouths are big and speech is free. When the pundits all concur, you need to pinch yourself because you must be dreaming if that happens, it never does. Will you draw your own conclusion or give up and follow me? It's all subjective Just don't be pretentious, that's the key There's even, even some, some people who didn't, didn't like Toy Story, Story 3 Do you hear the critics sing? Whether they praise or they be moan Your opinions are like assholes Everybody has his own When you see a work of art Go with your gut and don't despair Either you like it Home sweet home. Hello, critic. We're waterbenders. Oh, look, I'm not really into any new age religion. Pretty much they're all telling me I'm still going to hell. No, no, we're not here for that. I'm Soka, and this is my sister, Katera. Well, obviously! And, uh, what's your guys' story? Well, I'm the motherly emotional center. And I'm funny. Uh-huh. Well, look, can you two freaks waterbend the hell out of here? Not until you save the franchise. Franchise? What franchise? There's a great evil that has damaged our world. 
and only you can restore balance. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs>